I'm here in Brisbane to find out about the collaboration that made this striking masonry screen a reality. When we originally saw this site, it had some beautiful 70-year-old sheds on it. We keep referencing the history of the site and the history of the area, and to me that creates a community that people want to live in. Let's talk about the screens, which have a very dynamic street presence. What was the idea that was first presented to you and how did you see them? We said, we've got to create an authentic place and an authentic building. You know, once you create a contrived thing, it's hard then to create a real community. So if you think about the history of this whole peninsula being places where cargo and merchants and bricks and there's the old brick wool stores. So I guess that's our reference to the past. Then it took on a life of its own. You can see people out on the street, you know, on a weekend. They'd stand there and look at it and look at how the, the bricks or blocks protrude, uh, how the different patterns work, how the light's working. You I'm can see how the hell do they bloody well get it up there? We were wondering that too. <laughs> Did you imagine it was going to be such a song and dance? Look, I, gotta, I have to admit, um, it's amazing how complex it is keeping things simple. But you have to be true to an idea. So yeah. we, we had to have some persistence with the scale of this screen. It needed to have another structural layer and also, you know, it's, it's four and a half metres up in the air so we are quite rigorous working with Wattpack, the builders, and Dr Peter Mullins, who's an engineer that we'd work with, particularly on brickwork. So it evolved that the block was probably the best unit to work with because we could reinforce the block while maintaining the permeability and tie it back to a steel frame in a much more robust manner. We were very fortunate that our good neighbours rented us their adjoining property so we could prefabricate the block screens on the adjoining site and install them in place. We sort of did this on sort of two weekends. If we tried to construct that in situ, we would have been here for months. I love the look of the block work in the screen. Tell me about the choice of that. We wanted to have an off-white brick or block. The porcelain colour was the right sort of colour. We've got a honed finish, which we really like because it's going to stay cleaner for longer and maintenance is going to be easier. And you've got some extra brick work throughout the building here as well. Tell us about how that came into play and what adds to the building. Yeah, we have got brickwork as part of the fencing and the curtilage of the townhomes themselves and then in the landscape area. Part of the idea of bringing the buildings out to the edge was to pull the buildings apart so that you can get a backyard. So we wanted to bring that quality of home and brickwork just has that texture about it that's warm. It was part of the original fabric of the buildings here. You know, it's much more expensive to do these sorts of things, obviously. Is it worth it in the long run? Yeah, look, I think, you know, in five years, 10 years, 20 years time, you still want to be proud driving past all the projects you do. And you want to be able to take your family past it and say, well, we did that a few years ago and it's still looking really good. 